is uh, October 2015. Uh, everyone's doing kind of what well, everyone in the community anyway is doing their own version of you know Halloween month, horror month, 31 nights of horror, whatever you want to call it. And I'm trying to watch 31 films this month, 31 horror films, where possible ones I haven't seen before. Um, but tonight, which is the is it the sixth today? Um, I'm going to watch a film I've seen before, but it's one that I don't think I've actually ever seen from start to finish all the way through. I uh, saw most of it in the late 90s on late night TV, which is where I think it's it's perfectly suited. Um, and yeah, obviously I was far too young for it at the time. And the last time I saw it was um, six years ago, the night before I went to a wrestling show. Two of my friends were staying over one of their houses and they just turned it on, uh, channel hopping. I I didn't say anything because I wanted to see what they'd think, and after a while they were like, "This film's fucked up." <laughs> so <laughs> it is video drone, and Connie is going to watch it with me tonight, um, and I'm really interested to see what she's going to think about it. Do you want to get in the show? Or do you want to uh, talk about it later? It's up to you. Now this is for me a personal, a point of personal pride that I'm actually what. Oh yeah, yeah. This is um, a Criterion Collection logo at the beginning of the film. I uh, I made Ryan Chataway, uh like channel intro. It looks very much like the, well, it is the Criterion logo in a way. Anyway, yeah. Um, you want to put that on camera, do you? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I asked Luke to um, do three quarters. This isn't three quarters. Yeah, I know. I've never been good at math. someday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spill that on my phone. Sorry, your phone. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so this is a point of personal pr personal pride and triumph for me. I'm getting Connie not only to watch video drone, but to watch it without watching a trailer. Now, to get Connie yeah. to watch a film without watching a trailer is much in the same that Bob Geldof got Pink Floyd to get back together. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, pigs have flown, literally he's probably going to be one past the window, but it's too dark to see it, unfortunately. But... But... My tarantula is up against my heating pad. Yeah, that's... So that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, and you'll probably be climbing up the walls, much like the tarantula is, by the end of this movie. So, um... What, what are you expecting, just just generally, like... Well, right now, I'm expecting shit and a waste <laughs> of my life. We're already 20 minutes late, because you have to film this video. No, we're I'm 20 minutes late because you were ordering a new laptop. No. This is only this no. this only represents three we minutes were of lateness. Five minutes late because I was ordering my laptop, which I need, by the way. Yeah. To, for greatness. Yeah. <laughs> you took fifteen minutes to uh, open I, that freaking. All right, all right, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> I tightened the bottle far too tight, and it was horrible. Anyway, let's go on with the movie. All right, so let's just watch yes. it now. Let's watch it now. I am expecting it to be shite. The picture is someone with their face halfway into a TV screen, so... This is by the same guy who directed The Fly, though, and you love The Fly. Yeah, it was great, but it had the guy in it. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yes. Well, Does this have Jeff Goldblum? No, but it has James Woods, which is almost as good. I don't so. know who that is. He's amazing, so... Yeah, but how is it going to be just as good for me? Who cares about you? You've seen it before. Most this is all about me now. <laughs> But it's the first time I've seen it from start to finish, and in great quality as well. So. so you couldn't even finish it in one sitting? No, the first time I saw it, again, as I said in the intro, in the late 90s, uh, I was a kid watching it on late night TV, again, which is where you, it's probably the most appropriate to watch video dramas on late night TV. But I caught, I d didn't catch the beginning of it. Oh, right. Okay. Same with the second time. So. Okay. okay. So you never seen the beginning? No, not the full beginning, no. Okay, let's start. So we just uh, interrupted our video drone viewing. I think the universe was helping Connie out because she's hating it. And uh, we <laughs> just. Once the universe is like hey, here's the keys. Here's the keys. Handing you the keys. But yeah. Sorry. The most <laughs> amazing northern lights I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> the loud lady just came home. Oh. <laughs> Big swirl there now. Whoa, are you getting that? 
Yeah. That is so gorgeous, Jesus. I'm going to put the camera on low light to kind of get it. It moves like a 90s webcam. Oh. <laughs> the frame rate is just awful. Yeah. I think Lily feels left out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're 33 minutes into video drone and Connie just happened to pause it at this amazing point. With James Woods about to slap someone in the face. Um, the crazy look on his face. The crazy look on his face. Uh, Connie's been saying for the past half hour, like, am I do? Did I do this on purpose? Yeah, is this a joke? Like, am I making her watch this because I know that she'll hate it? Honestly, that's not the case. It really isn't. I I I have a feeling that you hate me. I don't. You're making me watch it. Th 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 this is at this state, right? But the way this is going, I would rather watch Attack the Block again. I'm saying something. I don't believe that for a second. Yes! But, um, th let's just consider this the, the Texas Chainsaw of 2015. I mean, you know, it's just a film you have to see, even if you won't necessarily love it. But I like the ideas in it and the themes in it. We're going to carry on with it and. Uh, I'll, I'll say this though, it, it things do get a lot weird. What? I'll tell you after. You tell me after. Okay. Uh, yeah, things do get a lot weirder. So yeah, we just got interrupted by the Northern Lights. That was amazing. Wow. Like I think we saw it in the second uh, twenty-four hour movie marathon too, a couple of years ago. Just after we watched Aliens, we went out and saw it, and it was awesome. But this was, I've never seen it that clear, or that bright, or moving that much. I mean, it moved all the way over us like it was. You know, it was over there and then it was above us, it was really just, yeah, special. Anyway, I definitely feel like the universe was trying to throw Connie a bone because mm -hmm. I can just tell how you're not enjoying this at all. Anyway, we shall... So far, not at all. We shall soldier on. It's gone. Oh, I didn't get all the best reactions. No. I'm not turning it back. To where it was. Of course not. I wouldn't make you do. I wouldn't make you do that. Make me watch this movie. I did. Okay, we're done with the the masterpiece that is um, video drum. And uh, if you've seen the film, that guy gets shot at the end, and like the whole like practical effect where it's like. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. and Connie said, "That's how I feel right now watching this." Film. And yeah, then when he shoots the uh, video drum guy, and he's opening up on the stage, and his insides are just coming out of his outsides. Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, that's what I feel like." That's right. what you feel like, and you also said, "Do you feel like this is a film that you wouldn't?" What was he said? Like, I wouldn't recommend this movie to people I actually like, but I would recommend to people I don't like, so they have to go through it. I just go like, you know, just watch the whole thing. It gets, it gets really good. Why would you do this to me? I could have done so much work tonight. You could get ready to cry. No, I'm really tired. It's almost 12 a.m. I'm getting up in six hours. Well, we were interrupted by the Northern Lights, so I, I guess you got nothing really good to say about the film. Uh, it was, um, I don't know, just like 83, 86? 83. S special effects, or not, well, the practical effects were impressive, I guess. The guy act really well. And that's it. Mm. It's just really weird. It's like they were on acid when they made this or something. Yeah, um, I definitely... Um, now, now this is the first time I've seen it from start to finish. I don't think it's a great film. I don't think it is. I think it has um, I think it has great potential. Person and uh, events in this film are fictitious. Just so you know. <laughs> Nothing is real. They just put that on there just to make sure people don't go like, you know, oh, we're there's like that, huge. There's like that one creeped out guy in the cinema who's waiting for that line at the end, like, please tell me it was based on fictitious events. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make 
say it this way. But, but it does succeed, I think, in, in making you uncomfortable. And uh, I just, yeah, I like a lot of the ideas in it and the themes where you like tech, the, the technology creeping in on man. What? The gut thing made me uncomfortable the first time. Yeah, it's disgusting. Not, not, the, not the rest. Like, it was, then I was just like. You got a bit desensitized to it. Yeah, and it wasn't as bad as the first shot. But, mm. And also, that was the first time seeing it, and that was unexpected. Yeah, unexpected. I was, I was more uncomfortable with all the fucking. fucking. It's a lot of porn shit in the beginning. And Luke knows that I, I don't really enjoy watching that kind of stuff in movies. Well, neither do I, I. I like watching movies that I can watch with family, right? That's not anything you can. It's starting over again. It's starting fucking over again, yeah? It's that time again. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and so the first, like, third of the movie is just really based on, well, basically, he just wants to find porn for his channel, right? So he wants to find something different, and it's all about S&M and blah, 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 and it turns out Videodrome, it's all about that, but really, it's, it's, it's really confusing, but it also, it's just uh, weird, really. So I was just thinking, like, is, is he punishing me? Are you punishing me? No, I wanted to open your mind to something different, something you would never watch before. I knew if you saw the trailer, you'd say, nope, nope. So I just wanted to, I like to throw I the... I bet the trailer shows I like to, all the porn stuff. I like and to, I'd be like, nope. I like to throw you this kind of thing every now and again. Now, I should be allowed to at least once a year when it comes to films like this. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre last year, you know. That was better. Yeah, I'd say it's a better film, yeah. Of course it's a better film. How did this get it, like, 8 point... This didn't, be, this didn't get eight. It must be all the acid people or something rating this up. No, I think I think the film is very interesting. Again, the themes and stuff, and I it's find original. It... I'll I'll freaking give it that. Yeah, definitely. It's in its time, I get it, but I don't know. Like the idea of having all those people who are like addicted to the cathode rays from the the, the tubes in the TV who have to go and get their fix and stuff. And this was made at a time where. You know, video and you know, and the television were becoming such a part of like, is this is this making people less human? You know, and it almost it almost kind of predicts and you know, uh, prophesizes where humanity Smart is going. Yeah, smartphones and like, you know, being uh, being. One of the guys is saying something about uh, his name. He wasn't born with the name O. Oblivion. Oblivion. Yeah. Uh, and like. And more people are gonna like call themselves name they were born born with, and it was just thinking nicknames and stuff. Yeah, like handle that. handles online and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, and that's that's that was interesting. That was the only time I went. Oh. <laughs> and the cubicles is that what you call it? With the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where he was like that almost looked like an internet cafe in Japan. True. Yeah, yeah. Because they were just sat, you know, and who who knows what they were watching. That's exactly what it's like in in the uh, in internet cafes in yeah. Japan. So I was just thinking, okay, so you can connect it to internet, but I don't know. Uh, the only good thing about it was the practical effects. Yeah, that's I fair think, enough. and and the fact that it was original is just. I didn't enjoy it one bit. Okay. I still can't rate it down to like two or three. Mm-hmm because it's original and I have to think about what year it was made and yeah. his acting was really good and um, again the, the yeah, I, I really feel like showing you um, puts it up there because of the year it's made but I really didn't like it and if I'm ever going to watch it again it must be some kind of like torture thing <laughs> I must really hate myself Seriously. Well, well, I'm sorry. He must really... <laughs> and you said you watched this as a kid. Like 12 year old or something. Yeah. It was around that time. Well, so. at least you missed the uh, porn beginning. Yeah, I didn't see the beginning. Anyway. So that's video drum. Um, I, do, I do not the, think the that video this is a movie you have to watch before you die. Okay, we'll we'll do a separate video on that for for that series at some point. It's in the book. 
Yeah, it's in the book. It's in the book, 1001 Movies Must See Before You Die. I would say you do just, well, we'll get into that in that video, I suppose, and we'll talk about it more properly. This is more of just a kind of vlog-style video, but that was the video drama experience. And, uh, yeah, again, I don't think it's a great film, but I think there are great ideas in it. Um, and I find it unsettling and uncomfortable, and just like the idea of watching a video and that kind of gives you a tumour, or that gives you hallucinations, and then you don't know what's real and what's not, and the altering of reality and the perception of reality and uh there's a line in the film where oblivion is saying like um how people watch tv and stuff and the television is more real than the flesh is real just stuff like that and it kind of again i guess it's a commentary on uh society at the time and where it would be moving forward i guess and i don't think that it's it was a uh, what's the word some, it wasn't like a kind of, okay, this thing is happening and then it goes away. It's only grown since the 80s in terms of how we watch TV and, you know, have all these devices and stuff and rely on technology. Again, I feel like the films are very much like about te technology and mankind and how they go together and how they rely on each other, maybe too much and things like that. But ultimately, when you get to the end of the film, for me, it, it's kind of like... Well, that was that was fun, but I mean, it doesn't really um, it doesn't really deliver on those themes as much as it probably could for me personally. Uh, <clears throat> the practical effects are great, as Connie mentioned. You know, James Wood is awesome, but uh, yeah, I, I, I could only see me watching this again maybe one or two more times the rest of my life. Maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll grow on me. But I like all the just the eightiesness in terms of the. The, like the you know, videotapes and just like the the grainy kind of you know late night TV watching and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, all the, the the sexual stuff isn't to my liking, but I get where it slots into the film in terms of just the <clears throat> I don't know kind of the, it kind of touches on maybe James Wood's character likes all that stuff, but he's not going to admit it and things like that, and it's kind of a theme of. Um, your innermost desires and things like that and how that comes out and yeah very weird and fucked up film to say the least and yeah. uh it's a little mind Ooh. yeah lily what did you think from the little that you saw of it she's not very talkative tonight usually she has an opinion about everything but uh she just wants treats she just wants treats right now she's a bit pissed off that she also had to sit through video drum. Anyway, um, I think she's we. She's more pissed that I actually knocked her off my lap. I think we can safely say, uh, for Connie at least, uh, death to video drum, <laughs> and long live any other movie but that. <laughs> really nice guy. He looks after his friends. He only chucks them about the place a couple of times on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, he's alright by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans of Colin into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. 